Hello everyone, I'm a painter, singer-songwriter and former fashion designer. It took me three lockdowns but I'm finally sticking to YouTube. So what am I gonna talk about? Anything culture, art, design, style, everything that interests me basically. I'm very selfish like that. Okay, so today I thought we would talk about my recent, not so recent, art crushes. It's only going to be emerging artists. The first artist that I've been following for quite some time and I really, really like her is called She's a British artist. She works in London. She has two solo exhibitions coming up. She's also a kind of a hit girl. You can see her at Fashion Week and stuff like that. So I think that's cool. What I like about her paintings is that it's very naive, it's very um, watercolory, like you see a lot of the texture. The color combinations are quite interesting. It's quite moody, but still it has a lot of dolce vita, romanticism feel to it. And it's all about love from what I understand. I love the way that she treats flowers as well. So it's very simple. I think it's quite minimal. Every piece in the painting says something and is essential. I really like the style, I like the subject, I like her, I think she's super cool. Yeah, Fei Weiwei. Okay, so my second art crush, and I've been following him for quite some time now, I even bought his book, Luke Edward Hall. Another British artist, I should say he's more of a designer. I don't think he really paints, it's more drawings. But I really like his style as well, it's very cocteau inspired, but it has his own touch. What I love about him is that he really masters the multidisciplinary thing. He does design, interior design, he uh, was a fashion designer, I believe. He also does a lot of scrapbooking and things like that, and his Instagram is lovely. He lives with his partner who's a designer as well and it's very inspiring like he shows a bit of everything from his life to his work. I also really like him, what he represents. I love the whole leaving London and going to live a fuller, calmer life in the country. I like his work a lot. I like the colors, I like how it's filled up with memories, it's very personal and you see the texture. I love like the, the mixed textures, the mixed media thing. I also really like his home decor. He's a maximalist, he also writes for the, oh, I don't remember, the Financial Times or something like that. He writes that he has a column in it. I think it's really cool. Third art crush, Igor Mori. I've been following this guy right from the beginning and he is crushing it. He is Polish and he just moved I believe he moved to London. He is exhibiting in group shows at the Cobb Gallery. All of these artists that I'm talking about, they all have ties to the Cobb Gallery for some reason. So I don't know, we must like the same stuff. So he does paintings slash pencil work on paper. It's these portraits, people that like follow no scale. It's very fauvist in that sense. It has a illustration feel to it, very strong texture. It's very expressive. It has those uh, very bright colors. I really love the way that he treats the characters, portraits. Like I think it's very interesting. I just, I really, really like his work. So he's also quite recent. He's really upcoming. I've followed him from the beginning and he is working so much, he is so prolific. The fourth artist that I really enjoy, I believe that he is uh, collected by Harry Styles. I just adore his work. It's a perfect mix of figurative and abstraction. It leaves the imagination to take over and it's very romantic in the subjects, it's like Roman sceneries, people on horses, women leaning on each other, the abstraction, like sometimes it reminds me a bit of Cecily Brown, just in the movement of the abstraction. You have a lot of transparency, it's just lovely. And I, I also like him, he's quite mysterious. I believe he paints like one collection per year. His paintings are incredible and they are huge, so you need a lot of space to get them. I believe the Cup Gallery sells some of his prints as well, so that might be something that you could look into. I'm just waiting for a book. 
I'm just waiting for a book for Fei Weiwei, Tomo Campbell, like that is what I want. Um, I don't know why they are not doing this. Cup Gallery, like get, get into the art book thing. My fifth and last, Anthony Kud. The high. I really love those paintings. Super mysterious. They have like the jewel tone um, to them. They remind me of Hernan Bass, which is one of my favorite painters. Not that emerging. He is quite established. He uh, is represented by Galerie Perrotin. Reminds me a bit of him and Paul Gauguin as well. He has this mysterious feel like everything is happening in the night. I just love his colors. Portraits are amazing. I really encourage you to keep an eye open about what he does because I think all of these artists will go uh, very far. These are my five art crushes uh, at the moment. Let me know what you think, who's your favorite, or if you have any suggestions. I'm always up for discovering new artists. Leave it in the comments below. And yeah, I'll be doing a video every Wednesday. So see you next week.